as you can see I already have the ball screw attached and the linear rails and uh, the block that the axis will move on and underneath is the iron table um, so I just have it backwards now for testing and then some adjustments I had some trouble um, aligning the ball screw to the axis um, <coughs> even though I let some uh, I left some space for adjustments for um, the back block left and right and um, for the nut um, block to move left and right and uh, it also has a bit of up and down space um, because um, the block is a bit I can't show you but it's a bit uh, the hole is a bit larger than the than the nut itself um, but it was still not enough because I, I I am not able to work that precise yet so I had to uh, progressively take cuts on top of the top of the of the nut block and then test it again and see if the ball screw can move smoothly and so this took quite some time but in the end I have uh, what I believe is a smooth enough motion uh, as you can see I can easily turn by hand the ball screw and if I push the table by hand it it rotates this the screw so I don't have much experience mounting ball screws but I think I got it somewhere where it's safe to operate um, <coughs> I'll see in time if if it all works out well um, I, if I turn the table um, vertically the the tab the table starts to slide by its own by its own by its own weight under gravity so i think it's it's parallel enough um because it's a bit difficult to measure this thing um and i don't have the proper equipment for that um but what i can see and i'm pretty amazed is that i have this um, dial indicator here and of course this was to be expected but what I can see is if I just hold the screw with with such a tool and I slowly very gently move it back and forth even the tiniest motion of the screw has an immediate effect on on the indicator and I'm very happy with that because that means <coughs> I have close to zero backlash in this ball screw I mean this is a precision ball screw uh, it's grounded uh, NSK so got it um, second hand from eBay um, and quite cheap for its quality and I'm I'm happy I'm happy with this because because I've never seen something like that before I only read about it so now I can see it in my own eyes and it's pretty amazing and I mean the rigidity of this thing well I hope it's rock solid even though the linear rails are a bit slim um, I've read about the ratings and it seems to be pretty okay and now we'll see how the whole machine behaves when it's all mounted but so far so good <laughs> 